Okay, let's look at the second example. It's a quadratic inequality. So we are given minus x squared minus 2x plus 8, which is um, greater or equal to 0. So when you factorize, you, your x needs to be a positive sign. So we're going to multiply both sides by negative 1. Multiply both sides by negative 1. So when you multiply by a negative sign or when you divide by a negative sign, your inequality sign will reverse direction or will change direction. So we're going to have minus into minus x squared minus 2x plus 8. It's less or equals to 0 multiplied by minus 9. So therefore we're going to have x squared plus 2x. Minus 8 is less or equals to 0. Now we can factorize. And remember, when we're factorizing, um, the values that are here, there will be multiples, multiples of minus 8. Multiples of minus 8, which sum up or add up to plus 2. So they must add up to plus 2. So multiples of minus 8, it can be minus 1 and 8. It can be minus 2 and 4. And if you look at this, the multiples that add up to 2, it's 4 and 2. So which is minus 2 and 4, we want plus. So the 4 will carry a plus sign. So therefore here we're going to have x minus 2 and x plus 4. Therefore, x is either um, x minus 2 is less than 0 or x plus 4 is less than 0. So, x is less or equals to, we bring to this side, 2 or x is less or equals to minus 4. But now, we need to confirm these answers on the number line. So, We'll have a number line. Let's say this is 0. Then we've got our 2 here. We've got our minus 4 here. That's our number line. So our original A equation is this one. It's minus x squared minus 2x plus 8 is greater or equals to 0. So we can start with minus 4. So let's check the numbers that are on the number, the numbers that are less than minus 4, which means this side. So we can pick any number. Let's take minus 5. We're going to replace it in this and prove that it is indeed greater or equals to 0. So we're going to have minus, minus 5 squared, minus 2 into minus 5 plus 8, which must give us 0. Let's see if it's going to give us 0. It's going to be greater or equal to 0. So we're going to have minus, negative 5 squared is 25. Negative 2 by my, uh, negative 5 is plus 10, plus 8, which must be greater or equal to 0. Therefore, minus 25 plus 10 is giving us minus 15 plus 18. Minus 15 plus 18 is negative 7, which this is greater or equals to 0, which is, this one is not, it's not true. So negative 7 is actually below 0 on the number line. It's less than 0. So we can have, so this side is not, this side of minus 4 is not correct. Now let's check. The values that are between, we had 2 and minus 4. So minus 4, we have seen that anything less than minus 4 is not correct. Let's look at the values between minus 4 and 2. We can take 0. So let's take x is equal to 0. Replace it in the original equation. So we've got negative into 0 squared minus 2 into 0 plus 8, which must be greater or equal to 0. So we've got 0 here, minus 0 plus 8. 
which is 8. Therefore, indeed, 8 is greater or equals to 0. So this part is correct. Then the other part is we've got 2. So we need to check also that the numbers, we know now that numbers that are between minus 4 and 2 are correct. Right? So now we're checking the numbers that are above 2. So let's take 3, for example. So if we take 3, we're going to have minus into 3 squared minus 2 into 3 plus 8, which must give us greater, must be greater or equals to 0. So we're going to have minus 9 minus 6 plus 8 is greater or equals to 0. Minus, so we've got minus 9, minus 6 plus 8 is plus 2, which is greater or equals to 0. Minus 9 plus 2 is minus 7, greater or equals to 0. This is wrong. Minus 7 is not greater or equals to 0. So therefore, our solution is within these two variables. So and we've got an equal sign on both of them. So, therefore, we've, it's, uh, this thing is, the correct answer is lies between where x is greater or equals to minus 4 and where x is less or equals to 2, which is actually between these two on the number line. This is our solution. And here, you're going to have it because there's an equal sign you will have your bold circle which covers that actually x is minus 4 and also greater than minus 4. x is 2 and also less than 2. This is our solution. Hope it makes sense. That's the whole solution. Thank you.